Hello everyone. Today, let's talk about variables in Java session 3. Today, we will be covering variables, identifiers, examples of some file like identifiers, rules to declare identifiers, types of variables, and examples. So, variables. A Java variable is a container which holds the value while the Java program is executing. A variable is assigned with a data type. For syntax, type variable equals to value where type is one of the Java's type, basically the data type such as integer, int, or string. And variable is the name of the variable. It can be any name like Wonkovation, X, or name. It can be variable itself since variable is not a reserved word. Variable is a name of the memory location. In other words, it is the combination of vary plus able, which means it, its values can be changed in later on in program. There are three types of variables in Java, local, instance, and static. Here, we can see an example that like uh, there is a segment in a equals to 5. Here, a is the variable in this data type and 5 is the value which is being stored in a. Identifiers. Identifiers are the uh, naming blocks of a program. As we are naming, uh, uh, it can be a method name, class name, variable name, or a label. Identifiers are used for identification purpose, and every identifier there are some conventions that should be followed before using them or declaring them. Here, in the example. We can see that a class is declared public and is named test. Inside the class, we have a main method with uh, 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 variable declaration as methods body. Here, test, main, string, ARGS, and A are identifiers, five identifiers. And ARGS and A are variable name. So, test, main, string, ARGS, A are identifiers and only ARGS and A are variable. We can also change the names of test, main, ARGS, A, string, uh, ARGS and A. Since string is a predefined class and you can use it as an identifier to name another variable. Like you can write ink string equals to 5. It will be an invalid identifier. Now the rules to write identifiers. The only allowed characters for identifiers are all alphanumeric characters A to Z in uppercase, A to Z in lowercase, and 0 to 9. We are also allowed with dollar signs and underscore. So, you can use an M percent or egg sign in an identifier. Like, if you are writing one coefficient egg equals to 5, then it won't be a valid identifier since egg are not allowed in identifiers. Identifiers should not start with a digit. Like you can write one, two, three, one covation. It should be one covation, one, two, three, two being a valid identifier. Java identifiers are case sensitive. One covation with W capital and one covation with W small will be clicked differently in case of Java. There is no limit on the length of identifiers, but it is advisable to use an optimum length of 4 to 15 letters only. Reserved words can't be used as an identifier. For example, ink class equals to 20 is an invalid identifier as class is a reserved word. There are 53 reserved words in Java. Now, we, let's see some examples for valid and invalid identifiers. Here, my variable with m and v capital and my variable uh, in complete uppercase are clicked differently because Java is a case sensitive language. And my variable with all characters as lowercase is a different variable. Now, x, i, x1, i1 are all valid identifiers because they are following the rule that they consist only of alphanumeric characters and they are not starting with a number. Underscore my variable, dollar my variable are again valid identifiers because they are alphanumeric character there are alphanumeric characters and they are not shagging with a digit. 
sum underscore of underscore array is again a valid identifier because it consists only of alphabets and underscores and both of them are allowed in identifiers now invalid identifiers my variable it consists of space in between my and variable so it isn't a valid identifier one two three geeks again it is starting with digits so it won't be a valid identifier we can make it geeks one two three to be a valid identifier a plus b since plus is not allowed in alphanumeric characters uh, dollar sign or underscore so it is not a valid identifier variable hyphen two again this is not a valid identifier because hyphen is not allowed and here goes the same with m for sign in sum underscore m for sign underscore difference now we can see like what happens when we use a invalid identifier okay uh, let's open our notepad file uh, okay simply of java here we can see that these three are the variables a b and c a stores the value 10 b stores the value 10 and c stores the sum of a plus b this is the this is the data type that defines that a is an integer okay so now uh, we uh, can start b with a number like to make it invalid identifier uh, okay uh, invalid identifier okay uh, if we can use dollar here it is again a valid identifier and underscore c is also the valid identifier like save the file and run the file uh, Changing directory to desktop since the file is saved on desktop. Compiling the file Java C. Simple dot Java file name. Here yeah, we can see uh, what happened. Here yes we can see that this is not a valid identifier. Right, uh, it is giving us the compile time error. So. Using the invalid identifier gives us the compile time error. Now let's convert this to B2. B2. Uh, now saving this file. Yes, let's compile this file. Changing directory to desktop. Now compiling the file. JVAC simple. File name. Oh, I'm sorry. It should be dollar a and b2. Yes. Now let's compile this file again. Ah, oh, sorry. It should be underscore c. Yes. Now the file is compiled. So here it clearly indicates that b2 is a valid identifier. Dollar a is a valid identifier. And underscore C is again a valid identifier. That's why the file is compiled. If we are using the invalid identifiers, there will be a compile time error. Now let's talk about the types of variables. There are three types of variables in Java: local, instance, and static variable. Now, local variable. Local variables are declared inside the body of the method and is called local variable. You can use this variable only within the method and other methods in the class aren't even aware that this variable exists. Hence the scope of the local variable exists only in the method where it is defined. A local variable cannot be defined with static keyword like you can declare a local variable as a static. Now instance variable. In object oriented programming with classes an instance variable is a variable defined in a class. For which each instantiated object of the class has a separate copy or instance. An instance variable has similarities with a class variable but is non static. Okay, so instance variable is like class variable but we can declare instance variable as a static. It is also known as uh, it is called an instance variable because its value is instance specific and is not shared among instances like I told you that every class has a copy of its own instance variable 
Now static variables. A variable that is declared as static is known as static variable. It cannot be local. Like I told you that we can declare a local variable as a static. So a static variable can be a local. You can create a single copy of static variable and share it among all the instances of the class. Memory allocation for static variables happens only once when the class is loaded in the memory. So static way it saves memory. Examples of uh, let's understand this by ex uh, example. Like there is this class which is declared as public and is named as a static int m equals to hundred. This is a static variable since it is declared using static keyword. Now there is this method void method. Here we are declaring a variable int n equals to ninety, which is a local variable. And again, this is the met, uh, there is this met, void main method. It is the instance of this class. So and the variable declared here is in data equals to fifty, which is an instance variable. So we can declare a local variable with static. We can declare a instance variable with static. Let's uh, try this using an example. Like what happens if we uh, where's the PPT? Ah, okay. What happens when we declare a local variable using second keyword? Let's copy this. Uh, let's oh, start and open uh, online compiler. Online Java compiler. Uh, okay. Let's paste the uh, Okay, let's remove these. Unwanted special characters. It's almost done. Yes. Now uh, let's declare this int n as a static. Static int n. Okay, now let's try running this program. Yes, it will give a. Yes, it will give a compile time error. Okay. You can declare a static variable uh, uh, local variable is static okay now let's try declaring uh, okay now let's try declaring uh, instance variable is static okay now let's run the code Yes, it's again giving. Uh, okay, I don't know why this is not working on the online compiler. Let's uh, try this using our Notepad file. Notepad is the best. Okay, since the class is declared as public, uh, the file name and the class name should be same. Let's save the file, and then now let's run this file. Uh, let's compile this file. Yes, we can see that Yeah, yes, we can see that this is giving us the legal shock of our expression.
Yes, because uh, we can declare a local variable as static. So I guess we should remove this now. Okay, uh, uh, this comment is not necessary here. Like, okay. And now and we should also remove this static since we can declare an instance variable as static. Now let's save this file. This is the public on second wide main body of public wide main. This is the wide method. Yes. Now let's save this file and try compiling it again. Yes, the file is compiled. Now we can see that since uh, now we can see that second variable is declared as static and we are using static for instance variable and local variable. So we can declare a local variable and static variable uh, and instance variable as static. Now let's try another program to understand the concept of variables. Here it is the program to add two numbers. So to add two numbers, we are declaring a class simple with a white main method, uh, and there we declare two num variables as a and b with value 10 assigned to each. In the third variable in C, we are storing the sum of a plus b. So uh, C now contains 20, and now printing the C value of C using system print l. Okay, now let's copy this code to the online compiler because I know there will be some unwanted uh, special characters. I don't know why this comes. Uh, give me a second please. And now let's run this code. So here our output will be 20. Okay, now we are getting the output 20. So now let's, uh, as I told you that uh, we can change the value of a variable in the program. So now let's make b 20. Okay, now let's run the program. The output should be 30. Okay, so the output is 30. So now we know that we can change the value of variable again. We can, since these are the instance variables, we can uh, use static for them. If we can declare instance variable as static. Okay, it will give us the compile time error. Yes, it is giving us the compile time error that we can declare static illegal start of the expression. Okay, so now we should remove this static. And yes, now we can declare uh, static in a equals to 10. We can also define this variable here. And now let's remove this variable. We can use this in A here. So now let's run this code. It should give us the output 30. Yes, it is giving us the output 30. Yeah, so we can use second variable, which is declared outside the method in the method, but we can use the variable that is declared in some another method, a local variable in different method. Okay, now let's try that also. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's make void sum. Okay, now void sum in a equals to ten. Okay. Now, since this is declared in a equals to ten, and we are using that a variable here in our void main method. Now, let's execute this. Uh, it will say that a is not identified. Uh, yes, I knew like it doesn't know what is the symbol variable a so yes We can use local variable in some another method. We can only use this local variable in, in this uh, Same way in this method where it is defined. Okay. Now let's declare this b as a static variable in b equals to 20 and instead of using this, we, sh uh, we can print this uh, value of sum of a plus b and c. Okay. And now let's call the method. Okay. So now, we are using this static variable in method sum and we are using a local variable in a. Okay. So now, 
or it should give the output 30 since the value of b is 20 and a is 10 it should print 30 uh, what should that oh yeah we are using the static variable here we, it should be a global instance variable and now it should work yeah it will give the very uh, value uh, value output as 30 why is this taking uh, time again oh we need to declare this as a static sorry we are calling a non static method in this static method so it will be giving us the compile time error okay now let's run the program so you can call a non static method in this static method you need to declare both the methods as static again we are not using static or NTP. Now let's run this program. It will be 30. Yes, it is 30. So this is how static uh, variable works and instance variable work. You can use local variable in some other methods since other methods are not aware that this variable exists. So I hope all your concepts from today's class are clear. Thank you.